Hey everyone, we're in Scotland and uh, I'm here with Adam Johnson from Grimmy UK and apart from giving out free hats to everyone in the field, oh, yeah. what do you do Adam? So basically I'm the market manager for the UK, so anything you see at shows and events, social media, uh, magazine advertising, that kind of stuff, that's what I get involved in. That's all your gig? All my gig, yeah. So yeah, so if you if you ever send a message on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, it comes through to me. I'm the person that's on the other end of that and yeah, we're the guys that run the uh, social media for the UK. So tell us what's in this field today, what are we doing, what are we looking at? So today we've got two Veritron 470s in the field. So behind us here we've got the Gen 3 470 which was new this year. So it's called a Gen 3 because it's the third generation of the Veritron. We had the original Veritron, the Veritron Platinum and then this is the Gen 3. So this is a four row seven ton machine. Um, mainly used for harvesting potatoes but can be adapted for harvesting onions and carrots and a beetroot and a few other crops as well so that's what we're looking at in the field so we're going to have a walk around have a closer look at the machine you're going to tell us everything we need to know about it we're going to tell you everything about the new machine and all the changes that we've uh, we've implemented this year you've been studying all uh, week to yeah. impress us. <laughs> i guarantee i'm going to get it wrong though <laughs> let's go <laughs> So firstly, on the Gen 3, we've got a new topper. So we've completely re redesigned the topper layout on the machine. Um, this has made it a lot easier for taking the topper off in season. So if you need to take the topper off, it's a two second job now. On the older machines, it was a little bit more difficult to get on and off. We found that because um, sort of like the potato desiccation of Horm has been put for forward, people have been pre-topping a lot more and using different chemicals for getting rid of Horm not as many people are using harm toppers in season so sometimes they want to be able to take it on and off a lot more now whereas before they were just constantly using the topper all the time so yeah, yeah. we've made that a lot easier now all we've got now we've got a couple of quick release couplings for the hydraulics here obviously we've got electrical coupling up there now and it's just on a three-point linkage at the front and that's just easier it comes off now before there was a lot of like different pins and things you had to take out and it was a lot harder to get off so this is making it a lot simpler for the operator to remove the topper. So on the machine up here, we've now got Ultra Beam, um, which is our new LED system to make, obviously turning night into day, is what it says in the brochure. Yeah. Um, but obviously it just gives that operator a lot better viewing when they're working in the dark. Obviously a lot of these guys can work from five o'clock in the morning till late, late at night. When it, the nights start getting darker, you need those lights to be able to see what you're doing. You don't want to be running into anything in the field, trailers or no, operators. Especially or when you have two guys standing on your trailer as well. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. need to be able to see what you're doing. If you can't see what you're doing, it just makes life a lot harder. So yeah, so we've now put a new LED system, which makes makes it a lot easier for the operator to see what they're doing. So yeah, so this is our sort of like our premium comfort cab. What we've got here for new for this year, we've got new CCI 1200 touchscreen unit. So we used to run a, C a dual CCI 100 and CCI 50 before. So obviously this gives the operator a lot like bigger viewing of the the control units simple to use obviously just touch screen flipping through you can change all your different functions of the joystick on there so anything that you need quick as you're driving the machine you can change on here we've also developed smart view smart view is a camera system that grimmer has developed themselves and they've actually won a dlg award for it at agritechnica um this system is great it makes it so easy for the operator to go around the machine and see exactly what this needs to see. With obviously the use of smartphone now, everybody wants, everybody wants a swipe and a pinch. We've developed that into the screen now. So this is the first screen that we've been able to bring out that can put multiple different areas. You can have as, I think you can have up to 12 cameras on, the, on this machine, which means it gives you a 360 degree view of this machine. So you can see exactly what's going on. Some of the main things that you can also do with this machine, you can also, pause rewind and zoom in and put it into slow motion so that's something for the operator is great if they see something that they're unsure about if they're just maybe some contaminants going through the machine or foreign objects and they just need to be able to pause to see where maybe the soil's coming out or maybe if they're losing one of the potatoes they can actually physically stop now zoom in to see where they need to be able to see they can put it in slow motion so that'll record them that'll record in slow motion what's going on and then they can play that back if needs be 
they can pause so that'll pause on the screen so they can literally just take a screenshot of what's going on um, and they can also rewind if they need to do the other thing that's great about this smart view system is you can log into it with an ipad so what you can do you can bring up a qr code on the screen and it will then be able to log in through the qr code and then what you can then do is you can walk alongside the machine and see what's going on in the harvester this is great if you're a, a farm manager or a maybe an operator or even a, an engineer and they want to be able to see what's going on inside the machine as it's running so it makes it a lot safer for those guys to be able to see well actually that this needs 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 changing just to maybe improve extraction or improve crop, crop flow and they can physically see that next to the machine and they can see what the operator is doing so yeah that's the uh, premium cab we've got in the new gen 3. new for this year we've just put in a reversing tap for the arm roller this just makes it a lot easier for the guys who maybe are just pulling the odd potato through on home and they don't want as as grass separation on the home they can now turn this tap and the arm will go into transfer so it just makes it a little bit gentle but then if you do need that more aggressive separation of the arm just put it back into extract again and off you go obviously the main thing on here is the picking off table so that's been introduced for this year we've never ever operated offered a picking off table on a 4 row harvester before so this is a first for Grimmer obviously we've offered them on our trail GT harvesters on our Veritron 220s and 270s but the 470 machine has never had an inspection picking off platform at the top so this is new for this year and it'll be available for 2023 orders but we'll go around and have a look at that we'll come around at the side yeah Wanna so I see this particular machine well both machines actually a twin tracks is that yep. the standard setup it's well you can have it with tracks or you can have it with wheels um in the uk we tend to see them with tracks mainly yeah. just to reduce the ground pressure obviously it improves soil structure a little bit afterwards so when the guys are drilling behind the potato field if they've got tracks on the machine it makes it a lot easier they're not having to leave the ruts that you sometimes see with wheeled machines so yeah, yeah. if they're on tracks obviously I always say that it's like they're nearly floating on water in, in really wet yeah. conditions with these tracks. So yeah, so, we'll go, so one of the main things as well this year, we've also changed the, the ring elevator. So the ring elevator is now reversible and it, the design of it has changed slightly so it's a lot taller. Um, this makes it a lot easier to say if, if, if you do get to a point where you've bung the machine up or anything like that, or if you see a foreign object going through it, you can now reverse the elevator back and pick the bits out that you need to do. Whereas before, if it had gone round and it stopped, you couldn't reverse that elevator back on, you had to get in and unbong it. So it makes it a lot easier for the operator. Um, it's also, so like I say, a little bit taller. So if you look at the two differences between them, if you look at this machine, it sits a little bit higher. So it just give it a lot more capacity at the back there at the same time. So obviously it's increased the capacity of the machine, which then increases the forward speed, hopefully. Is this a bad time to tell you I'm afraid of heights? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll catch you if you fall. <laughs> yeah, so basically for this year, for 2022, um, we've now been given the option of being putting a inspection platform on the 470. So for the guys that need to be able to pick off when they're harvesting into boxes or going into store and they need that extra separation capacity at the top by, by human hand, we can now offer this on a 470. There's four places, sort of like two at that side, two at this side, and there's there's ample room up here. And the best thing about it being at the at the top of the machine rather than the back means the oper the means they're picking off staff for well out of danger's way. They're not going to get caught on anything. They're up, up here, safe out of the way. We've got emergency stops up here. We've got the control boxes up here, so they can inform the cab operator if they need anything. We've also got the smart view up here, so you can see what's going on at the same time. And the best thing about this from my opinion is how it folds down it's on two rams at either side so when you need to put it into road transport you just jump in the cab you press a button and the whole thing comes down on rams so you're not having to faff about fold it up or anything like that it's just done on one hydraulic adjustment it makes its life so much easier so on this machine we run a 460 horsepower tier 5 mercedes-benz engine um achieving roughly sub 30 litre an hour fuel consumption um also this year we've increased the tank fuel tank capacity from 600 litres to 800 litres um so hopefully that obviously that'll reduce the amount of times you have to fill the machine up and obviously increase the the running time of the machine at the same time this year another thing that we've put on the machine 
is we've increased the bunker length so we've got a bunker extension in there that's added an extra 61 centimeters into the bunker that gives the operator a lot more control of where they're putting the crop so and it makes it a lot easier to be able to see from the cab so with that reach they can get into bulkers they can get into higher trailers so that makes it a lot easier but it also means that because they've got that extra length they can tip it down into a box or a trailer and see from the cab now because it's sticking out a lot further they can physically see that bunker a lot easier than what they could before because if it was shorter the line of sight was over here you couldn't really see the end now it's longer you can now see the end of the bunker so it's made it a lot lot simpler for the operator what about capacity tank capacity in this uh so this the tank capacity on this harvester is seven tons but it is a true seven ton bunker yeah. so when i say a true seven ton bunker this is a non-stop reversible bunker this is something that Grimmer came up with a couple of years ago and it makes sure that every time you use that bunker you're using a hundred percent capacity of that bunker so if you didn't have a reversible bunker if you just had one that ran a, ran like just one way imagine you've got three tons left from that bunker but it's on the end of, it's on the end of the bunker you've got a space and then you fill in at the bottom you're never going to use that space in the middle so what actually if you had a 10 ton it ends up being maybe a six ton bunker yeah yeah but because this is a reversible bunker it brings the crop all the way down and it makes sure it fills it to 100 percent every time you use that bunker so if you, you're left with maybe two ton at the end they'll bring it back into the middle and then fill it right up again to 100 percent and you're using 100 percent capacity of it yeah is the picking table eating into your bunker space no 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 so we've actually lengthened the machine so it's not it's not taking anything at all out of the machine. All it's done, it just means that we've handed, I think it's roughly about 1.2 meters to the length of the machine. Yeah. But that's it. So we've not taken anything from anywhere. We've actually physically added to it. Okay. Um, but obviously, yeah, it's a 25K machine because it's on tracks. If you have it on wheels, it's a 30K machine. So you obviously get increased forward speed and road speed. Um, but obviously you just don't get the track capacity that you have in the field. That's yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so um, yeah, thanks for having us, Adam. And thanks no for giving problem. us a look around. And, You're uh, more than welcome. Hopefully, hopefully you make a sale out of it today. Well, to be fair, the amount of free hats I've given out today, I best do. So. <laughs>